Hey everyone, Zach here with Vine Skills. Uh, this is a, a video for you uh, demonstrating our best practice recommendation for writing off invoices in QuickBooks. Um, we'll use this example, fi uh, FileVine Invoice 119. We generated this in FileVine, FileVine's billing section, and it has already pushed into QuickBooks here, FileVine 119. Uh, the first step in uh, preparing your QuickBooks for uh, for writing off is making sure we've got an account for it in the chart of accounts. Um, I already made one, but I'll pull it up to uh, demonstrate here. But you're gonna want to make a bad debt expense account. Um, it's gonna the type is gonna be expense, and the detail type is gonna be bad debts. Uh, I'll show you what that looks like in the settings here, quick. Expenses, general business, bad debt, bad debt. Um, <clears throat> the reason we have a specific account for collecting bad debt expenses is because it's it's nice for management to track that. If bad debt is typically a situation where you your invoice was legitimate, you earned that revenue, but for whatever reason your client cannot pay you, um, so the the uh, receivable is uncollectible, and so it's writing off. So it's kind of nice to track it in one one GL account. You can kind of trend it and keep an eye on it. You know, this is if something um, there might be like an underlying error in some of your process if this account keeps rising. So something to keep an eye on. Uh, anyway, so we make the chart of account here, and the next step is we need to go to our settings and our products and services list, and we're gonna make a um, write off to bad debt service. Um, I already made one, but I'll click into the settings to show you what it looks like. Um, we call it write off to bad debts. That way, one in file line, write off an invoice is called write off. And then adding the bad debts piece kind of lets you know where's this going. It's going to the expense account. So the key thing here is we're going to check, um, I sell this product to service and clients. And then the income account, we're actually going to select that bad debt expense account that we just made. Um, after we do that, to write off the invoice, we um, are going to generate a credit memo. We're going to tag our client. Um, the date of the write-off. And in this product service drop-down, we're going to find our write-off to bad debts. This is going to um, expense this credit memo to the bad debt expense GL account. And we can say in the description, maybe write off Outline invoice 119, and then we want to make sure to write off the total amount here. Uh, this invoice was $674. $674. And we can go ahead and save and close. The next thing we need to do is find that invoice and apply payment to it. So we found the invoice. Here it is, let's click receive payment. It's gonna pull up a list of all the outstanding invoices for this client. We just wanna make sure to navigate to uh, the one in question, file line, one, uh, file line invoice 119. And we're gonna key, key in the total amount of that invoice to mark it as payment. And then looks like there's some other credit memos here that are getting applied. So I'm just gonna uncheck these. Um, to be confused. So we're applying the credit loan we just made for $674 to file line invoice 119. And we can go ahead and save and close. Um, the neat thing about doing it this way is if we navigate back into file line and we simply refresh, we'll see that 674 uh, credit loan that we just applied. It does populate in back into file line. Um, there we go. Hope that's helpful.